It is Sunday, April 17th in the MLB, and I'm Austin from Calling Our Shot. And I'm Logan from Calling Our Shot. And happy Easter, everyone out there that is celebrating. We hope you guys enjoy some time spending it with your friends and family. But we got a lot of, we got three picks for you guys. We got a money line pick, we got a no run first inning pick, and we got a player prop coming your guys' way. Happy Easter, everyone. You know, I, I know maybe, you know, friends and family are watching this as well. So, you know, but from Austin and I, I uh, hope you guys enjoy, you know, a nice Easter Sunday filled with baseball winners, hopefully. But if you're not subscribed to our channel, mash that subscribe button. I'm, I'm always encouraging you to do so because we're doing these picks season long and we're only like 100 away from 31,000. So short term goal and we can't do it without you. Also, drop a like on the video. Uh, it does help more people hopefully see it. 100% Logan couldn't agree more with that. If you are new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button too. Shout out to all our COS All-Stars that keep showing their support. We can't do it without you guys. Our newest ones, Eli and Joe Toronto one. We appreciate you guys. If you want to support us, become a COS All-Star. Get shouted out in tomorrow's video. Click the join button on the channel or the link in the description. We would certainly appreciate it. But let's get into today's, let's do a little bit of a recap from yesterday. You know, Man, Logan, I, I I sold us on our sweep. We were we were very very close, and you know I I don't want to make excuses. Uh, Jamison Tyone just did not have the put away pitches, but look, it was still a two and one day, a profitable day, which is all you can really ask for in the MLB. Your Phillies money line, I got a. You should honestly do a, a, a victory lap on that one because that one was a no sweat bet. Arizona versus the New York Mets, Nerfy. We didn't really have to sweat that one out too, too mm -hmm. bad. And then Tyone, like I said, only two Ks. Of course, a rain delay comes in. He does come back in. Just had a ton of ground outs. He pitched somewhat well, but a ton of ground outs, not a lot of strikeouts. But either way, Logan, I'm going to throw it to you. First pick of the day. Let's start off with a banger. Yeah. So yesterday, I, I started off with a money line. Today, I'm doing the same. Astros versus Mariners, and I'm taking Mariners money line, plus 105 odds on DraftKings. Austin, if if you're able oh, yeah. to pull up odds jam right I here, boom. You. Boom. Plus money, as, as as he's showing right here, a plus money winner, I'll, I'll absolutely take it. Look, you know, is, is it is it really attractive to pick to pick the Astros? Yes. And uh, trust me, from somebody that did it a lot last year, I know everyone and their mother is going to be going to be on the Astros in this one. But let's first talk about the Astros pitching. Your quitty is supposed to be pitching 3.68 ERA versus Mar versus the Mariners in 2021. Pretty solid, you know. Anything under that in that three four range, not catastrophic, right? They weren't hitting them left and right. Also, Seattle's only batting uh, two oh six this season. Not a great batting average. Seattle just is coming off a loss to Houston four to nothing. So a lot of the signs are saying Houston, Houston, Houston. Pick Houston. Well, caution, right? This is baseball. It's a pendulum. It swings back and forth. It's a long year, and a, a lot of these teams steal games from each other. Before that, the Mariners did win eleven to one. I mean, the Mariners are certainly capable of beating this Astros team and putting up runs. Just had a bad, bad day at the office yesterday. This is this is what I'm really interested in, the, though. Fandle shows you the the percent of money and the percent of bets. Seventy two percent of the money at the time of recording this video is on Houston spread. Yet it's still plus value. Makes you go hmm, right? Fifty seven percent of bets are also on Houston spread. So this, and I expect that to probably grow throughout the day. Ever, you know, Astros, like I said, they're just a very tempting pick at like minus one twenty-five ish. That's usually the sweet spot of baseball. I try to avoid because that's the square money line pick, right? Those are usually the losers, especially on the weekend in the MLB. I'm just saying, I speak from experience here. Matt Brash is is on is on the mound for Seattle. Five and two thirds innings pitched and two earned runs in his debut versus the White Sox. White Sox have a lot of talented bats on their team. You know, to to only give up two earned runs and you know, a little over five innings pitch. That's pretty solid, right? Can't ask for, for much more from him. He also is showing, you know, tremendous control. Uh, 0.94 whip so far in 2022. Anything under a one whip, certainly comfortable with. So Matt Brash, go out and be a solid pitcher for us today. Even if he's not, that's okay. Seattle's bullpen, fifth in bullpen ERA. They, they've certainly recovered. They started the year like near, near back of the pack. Well, they've recovered. Now they're top five in bullpen ERA, which is more on par with what they were last year. Houston, also 18th in bullpen ERA for comparison. Maybe slight bullpen edge. Seattle, if this game's tight, you know, down the stretch, I, th I think we, we stand a really good chance with Mariners at plus money. Playing at home once again on Easter Sunday. Let's see if we can cash back-to-back -back money line picks. Austin, I'm throwing it to you for your player prop, though. Logan, I love the pick. I know a lot of people are going to be an Astros today, but I can respect the pick. I'll be riding with you with the Mariners. Now, I have it on a little bit of a downturn in the player props after we started off six and one. I think we've lost a couple in a row. 
Today we're turning the tide and we're going to a game, the Rangers versus the Angels. And I'm going Jose Suarez. We're taking his over four and a half hits allowed. Now, I don't love bet betting these uh these specific props solely because they aren't available in a lot of different sports books like Caesars and DraftKings has a line. Fandle sometimes has a line, sometimes they don't. But obviously, if you need a, a link to sign up for either of these sports books, you can use the links in the description. We would certainly appreciate it. Now the reason I'm on Suarez is because I look at him. He's a left-handed starting pitcher, obviously pitching for the Angels, for those that do not know. And they're taking on the Rangers, like I said. And the Rangers, they love hitting against lefties. Uh, they got a lot of right-handed bats in that lineup, and they are just absolutely destroying left-handed pitching this season, batting 311 on the year. And that's it, I believe that's third best in the majors behind the White Sox. And I forget the second-place team. Now, they have 82 plate appearances, 23 hits. They got Seven walks. I think they should be able to get up on Suarez today. Now, I do have to give Suarez some, some credit. He did pitch well versus the Rangers last season. The Rangers are have kind of retooled their offense. They're a much better offensive team than they were last year. But still, he still gave up five and six hits in both those two starts. And he pitched very well. So I think he's going to come in here. I don't know necessarily know if he pitches the greatest. And honestly, I'm fine if he pitches well. We would like him to get into the five and the six innings. Just give us a couple hits. Get out of the inning. That's fine with me. But either way. All three starting pitchers for the Angels in this series have allowed at least five hits. And we'll look at two of them. They were lefties, Detmers and Otani. Both got rocked, allowing six hits. They didn't even get it out, out of the out of the fourth inning. Both pitched like three and a third innings and three and two thirds. I think Suarez might be able to pitch a little bit longer than those guys. But either way, it's a left-handed pitcher against the Rangers. I mean, it's going to be a common trend I take all season long. So I'll be taking Jose Suarez over four and a half hits allowed. I really like it. It's a little bit juiced, but... I'm fine with taking this prop at this value. If it goes up to five and a half, likely would probably stay away. But Logan, you know what time it is, man. I, I don't need to tell you, but oh, you tell the people. It's, it's time for an Easter Sunday. No run first inning. Nerfy Nation. Where, where you at? Where, yeah. Stand up one time. Look, there's no better time than cashing one only a Nerfy, but also doing it on Easter Sunday. And we're going to do it the first game of the day on the slate. Just like yesterday, Diamondbacks, Mets. No sweat, Nerfy. Today we're going with the Yankees and the Orioles, taking the no-run first inning bet minus 105 on on uh, on Fanduel. And you know we see a lot of differing odds. Barstool's got minus 109, minus 130 on DraftKings. If you got a Fanduel account, they got the best value right now. Now there's a couple different reasons we like it, and I'll start with kind of the Orioles starting pitching. And we got Zimmerman on the mound, pitched pretty well, four innings pitch, zero earned runs in his first start. But good pitching is hard to come by on the Orioles these days. But look, it's coming against a Yankees team that has a Yankees fan. I know they got a lot of guys on the top half of the lineup that are just going to be swinging for the fences. And sir, if we get screwed by a home run in this one, that's fine. But you'd rather at least them earn it than to just walk people around the bases. And we know the Yankees have a lot of guys that are swinging for the fences. A lot of guys that likely aren't getting out, don't have the highest on base percentage. And that's normally how you lose nerfies with sack flies and things like that. So I think the Yankees batting order we'll be able to cover the first half of the inning what about the second half logan so on the on the oreo you know for the orioles bats they're gonna be facing nestor cortez and you know what say what you want he in, in his most recent start he pitched well four and one thirds innings pitched zero and in runs in his last start pretty solid and you just mentioned the yankees batting average versus lefties we got a battle with the lefties today baltimore only batting 211 versus left-handed pitchers so not a ton better also Worth noting, we got to talk about it. I hope we're not jinxing it here, but Baltimore zero first inning runs scored. That's last in the major leagues. They're they're tied with one team. Oh, that oh, bad? And one other team can't remember which one. Have not still not have not scored a first inning run. You talked about the Yankees top half of the lineup. A lot of swing for the fences guy. I don't blame him, right? It's Camden Yards. A lot of you know line drives are home runs in that park, but. I'm just saying the Orioles have a lot of those players too, Ryan. We love you, but you're a swing for the fence. Swing, swing early, swing often. So there's a lot of there's a lot of hitters at that that end. And I, Austin, I think we start or stand a really good chance of back to back no run first inning caches to start the slate. I'm, I'm look, feeling good about it. Look, the Nerfies have been very good to us so far this season. I think we are seven and three. Don't quote me on that. Hopefully, we move up to eight and three. That'd be really nice. And like I said, it's the first game on the slate. So hopefully, we can start out with a winner and then move right. on to the second and third picks. But those are our three official picks: the Mariners money line plus value, Jose Suarez over four and a half hits allowed, and then the Yankees Orioles no run first inning bet. Let us know down below what your best bets are for Sunday Easter Sunday in the MLB. We appreciate you guys. We'll be back again next uh, next uh, Monday. Day. But obviously, I forgot to mention, honestly, at the beginning that we do have a same game parlay that we posted on Odds Jam. So definitely check that out. We'll put it in the pinned comment section down below. We appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.